So we arrived here in Punta uh, just after dark and um, this place is uh, pretty basic. We were a little bit worried um, and we got chatting to this guy who could speak basic English and he very kindly invited us to stay the night, um, brought us up onto this uh, sort of third level roof terrace of this um, of this row of um, buildings. Um, it's actually very very clean up here compared to the um, the muddy street below. Um, we spent about half an hour sort of sitting and chatting, uh, thinking he was going to uh, lead us into a, a room for us to stay, and then we realised that actually he was um, planning on us pitching our tent on the roof. Um, which we did and we had a very nice night's sleep and they fed us some incredibly good um, I think it was like cucumber curry um, cucumber or courgette or something um, really really good really good curry um, it's interesting they've got uh, rabbits here I don't think they're pets I think they're food unfortunately um, but um, yeah, there's a big gap here, next door neighbor over there. Um, yeah, so uh, today is another huge day. Um, I, the last few days have been <sighs> massive. Um, today is no exception. We're gonna be going to river camp over Basically we're following, you could see it yesterday, there's a big river at the bottom and we're following it. I think we're going up, 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 up and then down, down, down. It's 1,600 meters of climbing and then um, almost the same descending down the other side. Uh, so it's going to be a big day. Well, uh, today's um, trek has been a long one, um, a good nine hours, let's have a look at the, oh, ten hours, ten hours, um, not quite as hot as it has been the last few days, but still, still that sun really, really scorches um, all the way up and over a pass. It took us seven hours to get to the pass and I guess three hours to get down. Um, and uh, yeah, here we are at um, River Camp. Um, we found there's not really any flat ground to put our tent on apart from this. Uh, looks like a vegetable patch. I don't think anybody lives in this area so I think all these uh, all these plants are wild rather than someone's vegetables but Matthew's in there now trying to get a lot of uh, as many of the hard sticks and things that might uh, pierce through the bottom of the tent out and we're going to pitch it there it's not ideal but there's nowhere else around this place is so so hilly that there's just nowhere to camp um, there's this little little shelter here it doesn't have any sides so we couldn't sleep in it it's just really a fire pit um 
Yeah, it was uh, hard today. I'm absolutely exhausted, but not, not quite as hard as the last couple of days. Um, and tomorrow we um, will be hiking to Simicot, which is the last, um, the last big town before we finish. After Simicot, there's only four more days of hiking. So we are almost done.